This video is going to be a vlog test with the Lumix S5 to see if, you know, this camera is something that you'd be able to vlog with. So I am on some auto settings like auto white balance and I'm on auto focus. So that is gonna be the big test with this one is the autofocus because if the autofocus isn't gonna work, you're not gonna be able to vlog with this unless you wanna, you know, put your hand up here and focus all the time, kind of like you have to do with the GH5 if you're familiar shooting with the GH5. So I'm using a 4K 24 frames per second, uh, 420 8-bit. So that way I have a little bit of punch in if I, you know, edit in a 1080 timeline. Yeah, let's see if we can vlog with the Lumix S5. So if you're familiar with my channel, you know that for a while I've been working on finishing off our basement of our house. And um, you know, there's it, that's in a few videos where I've been working on that. But I'm done, finally, totally done. All, everything checked out, but now it's time to make some dump runs. And so that's what we're doing right now is making some dump runs, loading up the van, and um, we're gonna try to take as much stuff as possible. Oh, I hear a cat rolling through here. Hey. There you go. Come here. You're moving too fast. The autofocus doesn't move that fast. Let me up a little bit. Pita. All right, should we tag team this thing? Yeah. This thing is going to be heavy. We need to get out here and get these weeds. I know. So many. we've been working on the basement so much, we've been ignoring the outside. We got to get this concrete piece to the van. It's like I can see we got to capture them in the wild. This is looking nice. This is a good autofocus test. See if we can focus in on these flowers. So close. I'm pressing the shutter button halfway down to see if it'll focus. Oh, there we go. Now we'll go up here. Ooh, that wasn't too bad. Probably set the speed up just a little bit. Actually, let me check and see what I have the focus speed at. All right, so I just changed the autofocus settings and I changed the speed to three and the sensitivity to two. So we'll see. So we'll see how that moves any faster. So I have it to one area of focus. It's just right, right in the middle of the screen. It's not locking on as fast as I was hoping. But this, I mean, this might not be the best thing to test it on. Let's test it on my face. All right, I'm gonna test out a focus on my face. So speed three, sensitivity two. Oh, locked on. Locked on. Maybe, locking, locking. Let's walk and see if it locks. All 
All right, so I think we've got a pretty good load here. Here we go. Ready to go to the dump. Hopefully it catches the focus. Got a few mattresses, concrete, some building supplies. I think we're ready to go to the dump. All right, so I'm obviously not much of a vlogger, but let me know in the comments whether you think the S5 is a would work for vlogging. I think the big thing for vlogging would be the autofocus, and if the autofocus isn't working that well, then you might have issues if you're trying to vlog. So let me know down in the comments what you've seen in this video. I obviously will be editing and we'll be able to see everything. But let me know what you think down in the comments about whether you think the S5 will be a good vlogging camera or not. So I'm using the Lumix 20 to 60. It's a f3.5 to 5.6 variable aperture. And you know, being on that full frame, that 20 millimeter is actually pretty wide. So it, this would be a perfectly fine vlogging camera. And I do have a variable ND on there, so I can kind of keep it a little bit, I can keep the aperture a little bit more open and just kind of adjust it with that variable ND on there. So let me know down in the comments. Do you think this would be a good vlogging setup? Oh, it's blurry. Here's where we're gonna toss everything, right over there. Right over there. That's where we're going. Can you see it in there? Barely. Hi. Uh, some building materials and two mattresses. All right, thanks. There you go. All right, so we're done with the dump run, and that means that's the end of this vlog as well. So let me know down in the comments again if you think this would be a good camera for vlogging. Let me know what you thought about the autofocus. I think the lens is a good lens for vlogging, the Lumix 20 to 60 millimeter. I'm not a big fan of the variable aperture, but overall I think this lens is a really great lens and a very versatile lens. But that's all I have for this video. If you have time, it'd be awesome if you stuck around, maybe watch one of these videos that's popping up on your screen right here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.